Hello, hello! So it's the weekend again, and that means I get to talk about a movie. So I chose um, King of the Gypsies for my pre-90s movie. Um, let it be known, I kind of have a thing for Eric Roberts. I know it's weird because A, not a lot of people really know who he is. B, he messed up. He did some bad things, but he's a damn good actor, though. Um, this is kind of widely regarded as one of his first films, if not his first, I think. It's a 1978 film um, directed by Frank Pearson. Um, this is kind of Eric Roberts' standout role, along which would be followed by Star 80, um, Pope of Greenwich Village, but it's also got a really interesting cast of other people. Um, you've got Susan Sarandon playing a gypsy mother. You have a really young Brooke Shields playing you know, the teenage, um, the teenage sister that they're going to sell off, basically. Uh, Annie Potts gives a great performance in just a little side role, just kind of gives some spice, some color to an already colorful and eccentric movie. So the gist of this film is they're gypsies. But really. So I actually had to come back and redo my review because all the voice tracking was out of sync. So if everything looks weird, that's why. Uh, all in all, I thought it was a completely different look at movies. Um, I hate to say that a 70s film is a period piece at this point, but let's face it, it kind of is. You just don't see movies like this anymore. It's a different way of life, uh, different people, different cultures certainly. And it's kind of fascinating to see a movie like this. Uh, there are certainly strains of Scorsese in there. I mean, there, it's got that kind of New York City grime to it that only a 70s movie can really deliver. I hate to say this because I know a bunch of people will murder me for it, but it really did seem like the gypsy version of The Godfather. Moving on, it's a long movie, but it's so full of eccentricities and bizarre things and weird goings-on that it you'll keep watching no matter what. And many characters throughout, like Susan Sarandon's character, just make you wonder whether you like this character, whether you pity them, whether you dislike them, whether you approve of this alternative lifestyle, and I think that's kind of the point of the whole movie. It's to bring the audience into a culture they're not necessarily used to. And I know that the movie probably doesn't depict um, gypsy culture as realistically it's a movie, okay? But I do think there is some merit to the fact that we're supposed to question whether we agree with these morals. Just because it's an alternative lifestyle doesn't necessarily mean that they're off base. It's very um, easy to see why Eric Roberts would do this movie and then someone would cast him for Star 80 and then Pope of Greenwich Village, which I need to talk to you guys about next, probably coming up soon. Because if you haven't seen those movies, we need to talk. This is a very young Eric Roberts. Um, really pretty. It's also got one of those weird endings that only a 70s movie can deliver. Um, the plot twists and turns, the pacing is so off, It's it goes between being almost like a biopic of gypsy culture and then being, you know, like a gritty 70s, almost gangster flick, but in the vein of gypsy gangsters, which... I gotta say, it's kind of hilarious. No offense to those of you who are, like, gun-wielding gangster gypsies, um, but it provided a lot of amusement. So, um, I would definitely recommend this to anyone who is a fan of 70s kind of gritty, um, almost counterculture. Like, it, this isn't hippies living on communes. This is a very, very, um, rooted society. It's just different to our own. So I think it's great to take a look at this, see some early awesome Eric Roberts acting, some early awesome Susan Sarandon acting, some pretty Brooke Shields. King of the Gypsies is just something I never heard about, and I don't think most people have, and I think it's a really interesting movie, so go check it out. Um, I'm really interested to see what Jai talks about next week, and thanks for watching. Bye!